Okay, so today we're gonna to be going through how to get OSD, the same OSD you'd have on your analog quads, on your DJI goggles, and your DJI quad. It's gonna be really cool because it's been released by fpv.wtf, and it's actually really, really simple. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to plug in our DJI goggles, power them on, and then connect them via USB-C. So we're gonna to head to fpv.wtf, and when you go to that website um, and you click connect to device, it's gonna find no compatible devices found. So you actually need to click root first. Click on the button that says root, you click root device, and then you need to select your DJI goggles. It's gonna take a few minutes, but it's gonna go through the process of rooting them. And if everything works, you should have a positive result at the end. Now this is the same process, whether it's for the goggles or for the air unit as well. So it's gonna go through five different steps and take a bit of time, but you do wanna make sure that you're on version 1.00.0606. And after that has been successfully routed, we're gonna head back to the homepage. And from here, we're gonna click connect to device, select our DJI FPV goggles. So we're gonna click on the WTF OS tile, click install, and then click install WTF OS. And that's gonna go through the process of installing the WTF OS, which is basically the platform that's gonna control all the different things underneath the hood. That's gonna take a few more minutes to install as well. But once that's done, uh, you're gonna get a successful message. And then we're gonna click on the menu item up at the top again. And then we're going to go into Package Manager. You're going to be able to see all the different packages that you can install. Live Audio is a really good one if you use the Air Unit, but not the Vista or the Runcam Link, which don't have a microphone, but the full Air Unit does. So if you want to use that, you can. The one we're going to be doing today is MSP OSD. So we're going to just simply uh, click Install. And then that's going to go and install that and you see that the install has been successful by the fact that the install button has now changed to remove. Now that's done for the goggles. You need to go and repeat the same process on the air unit uh, itself. And then there's also something we need to do in beta flight. Before we go ahead, you can support the FPV WTF team through Open Collective by either making a once off or a recurring donation. If you've found this to be valuable, please go and contribute to them. A um, little bit of money is, is not really much other than just simply saying thanks for their hard work. When you are doing this same process for an air unit or a Vista, please make sure that you are actively cooling the air unit or Vista itself as those things can get really toasty on the bench. And after that's all done, you do need to go into beta flight. So we're gonna head over to the ports tab in beta flight and take particular note of what UART that MSP is configured. Now, because this is a serial connection, it's for me, it's gonna be UART one, but I am gonna to need to enter serial zero. You need to go into the CLI and you are gonna to need to paste some commands. The first one is set, OSD underscore display port underscore device equals MSP. And then we're going to need to go set display port underscore MSP underscore serial equals the UART number minus one. So UART one is serial zero. I'm gonna paste that into, it's gonna paste that in to the CLI, add in zero. In this instance, if you were using UART4, you would put in number three, and then we wanna set the VCD system to PAL. And from here, we're gonna hit save. And then you can go in and configure your OSD elements the way that you want. And lo and behold, this is what it looks like and this is how it works. And it is absolutely amazing that the team at FPV WTF can actually put this together for the community. And you can see just how simple it is. The team at FPV WTF have made an absolute cracking solution and have made this stupidly simple. Now, normally at this part of the video, I'd ask you to like, subscribe and comment, but what I'd really appreciate is if you could head to the Open Collective and contribute to the FPV WTF team, whatever you can give, 
I'm sure they'd be absolutely amazed to receive it. Now I've actually done this on my Umagod 250. It's the four inch version, but with three and a half inch props. And I think it's the best three and a half inch quad that you can't buy. You have to build it. If you'd like to know more about this quad, watch this video here, as you'll be able to find out all about this sweet little build. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.